Hello everybody, it's Darren Steen from FatLossLifestyle.com here to talk to you about the most important aspect of your fitness fat loss program and that is your nutrition. Depending on who you talk to, the nutrition, the food that you're putting in your mouth is 70 to 80 percent of your fitness fat loss game. You can work out till you're blue in the face but your body's not going to change till you really start to master what you're putting in the pie hole folks. Alright, I'm here today to talk to you about the most important meal of the day. Yes, a lot of people have heard that it's breakfast, that's very true, but one that's more important than that is your post-workout meal, the meal that you're going to eat after a very intense workout session. The digestive tract is the most incredibly vascular system in the body. It needs a lot of blood to do its work because after an intense workout, the blood that is normally available to it is in your legs, in your buns, in the mu back, the muscle groups that you just worked, it works very, very slow. So if you eat a meal that's normally typically good, chicken breast and a salad, you're going to miss the two hour window of opportunity after an intense workout to start to shell in the protein, the amino acids and the glycogen which is the carb that the body breaks down into your gasoline it uses to fuel your system. You're going to miss that two hour window of opportunity because that chicken breast and that salad is going to sit in that gut and the digestive tract is way slower and you're going to miss that two hour window of opportunity. So what we do is we eat a meal that's already pre-digested that's absorbed very rapidly to start the recovery process after an intense workout and the, the meal that fits that bill is whey protein and a high glycemic carb like a banana. So what we want to do is we want to consume approximately 30 minutes to 60 minutes after that intense weight training session depending on a lot of variables but if your metabolism is slow let's wait 60 minutes if your metabolism is faster let's go down towards 30 minutes let's throw in some whey protein and let's throw in some carbs in the form of a banana to really fuel that recovery process. Now let's have three categories of people. Let's go small, 120 to 140 pounds. Let's have medium, let's go around 150 to 180 and let's go the big boys, 200 plus. Alright, for the small, let's go approximately 15 to 20 grams of whey protein. For the medium, let's go approximately 20 to 30 grams of whey protein. And for the big boys, let's go around 35 to 45. Now for carbs, let's go small, let's go a half banana. Medium, let's go full banana. And for the big boys, let's go a banana and a half. Okay, whey protein. Quality is very important. Don't go with the cheap brand. Let's go with something that's as medium grade. Let's go to a higher grade. Preferably, the whey protein is come, that comes from cows that were grass fed and not grain fed. You're going to have to pay a little bit more, but it's really going to be worth it. Organic bananas are probably a good idea. Okay, so let's, uh, give me, let's let me give you a couple of my tips. I prefer a half vanilla and half chocolate and a hand shaker because it's quicker. You throw it in there, you're, just read on the bottle, you can come up with how many grams of whey protein you need by just reading the directions and adjust your uh, dosage size accordingly. Put it in here, a little ice, ice water, shake it up really, really hard, drink it, eat your banana, and you're good to go. It's not as uh, nice as putting in a blender with some ice, um, but you save 15 to 20 minutes on preparation time and cleanup time. So again, the post-workout meal, the most important meal of your entire day. Don't go without it. Now you know what to do on your post-workout meal. All right, train hard, eat right, and expect success. I'll see you next month on Recipe of the Month. Thank you very much.